Hello everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a seahorse. But I want to first show you the paper I'm using. I got this paper at my lo not local craft store. I was actually visiting one of the big cities near where I live and uh, went to their Michaels and found this really cool art paper and I thought I want to try this out because I've never tried Strathmore's mixed media paper before and so I got a little kind of mini tablet to try out and it's kind of like a slick like bristol but I'm thinking because it's mixed media that um, it's, it's something else cool because it can't be just bristol otherwise I would say bristol so I thought we'd try it out on a painting. So I was trying to decide what I wanted to paint and I thought I want to paint a seahorse and so I thought well since I'm going to paint a seahorse I will do a video tutorial on how to draw a seahorse because actually I've got lots of requests on how to draw a seahorse so let's get started. So just so you know I have this taped on here because I'm actually going to be painting on this and I don't want it to buckle on me so I have it taped down but it's okay I can still draw on it just fine. With the seahorse I'm going to draw just really really lightly obviously because I'm going to want to make this a painting. I'm going to start off with a small circle for his head. Just right there like that. And then you're going to make this nice kind of curve coming along here and it's going to kind of come off this way and down and here's his little neck. And then going to come into his body. For his body I'm going to make this kind of ovally shape. Not super long but just a nice ovally shape for his body. And then this is going to run right along the spine of his back. And then kind of come back and then go for this really cool curved tail. It's just going to kind of curl in and wind in on itself. So with the underside of his belly, his little belly comes out just a little further. And again, there's a ton of types of seahorses out there. So um, I would look at some reference photos if there's a specific type of seahorse that you'd like to see. But I'm going to have his little belly coming up here. And then it kind of jets in just a little bit till we get to his tail and then his tail tapers down so it goes th from thick down to thin but following that same contour all the way around in this kind of neat little spiral here. I'm actually tighten that spiral up just a little bit. I'm a little too loose. That's why we do things in, in pencil so we can erase if we need to. Well, just a little bit too big so I'm going to Tighten that up just a bit. So I'm going to come out and just bring that around like that. And then I can bring the end of the tail coming down. And as it gets towards the end, it gets pretty thin as it curls in. There we go. Much better. So his face, he has this really long snout that comes out. So I'm just going to put just this line to kind of give me my direction. And then his face kind of tapers out towards this. The underside kind of comes underneath his little head area there and then just comes down to this little kind of a straw-like snout. And then it's going to come very thin all the way up, keeping about the same distance all the way up until it gets getting closer there and then it's going to start to pull up just a little bit. And it's just kind of bumpy and weird as it goes up. Bumpy and weird. <laughs> No better way to describe it than bumping weird. Then I'm going to put a nice big eye right in here. And now you just get to begin to have fun at putting in the, the kind of finalizing the details of, you know, fins and spikies and ridges and things like that. I'm going to put this kind of like a little, maybe a little spiky ridge right here, kind of coming out just a little bit. Kind of coming in underneath his little head. I'm going to put just these little fins right here. He's just got these really cool spiky ridges that go along his body here. So I'm just going to follow this line here, but I'm going to kind of make these little peaks going in here. And it continues all the way down his body. And about the end of the circle shape where it's where the body is going into the tail, he's got this kind of fanning fin right here. So I'm going to bring in this kind of fin shape there. They don't have a lot of fins like regular fish do. I'm just going to give him just a little bit of a fin there and then continue with the spiky ridges all the way around his tail. The underside of his tail has the spiky ridges as well. They kind of match up. They kind of have these little spines that wrap around. I'm going to bring this, this kind of spiky lined ridge here 
This is towards his side and then it kind of comes along to his, towards his belly there. So you'll see I kind of just change directions just a little bit. And there we go. Just a really simple seahorse. Seahorses are really fun, really easy to draw. You can put a little extra detail into the fin back here. And of course you could add some shading to this if you wanted to or put in some background or add more little seahorses in their playing. Um, I'm gonna clean this drawing up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much done. Well, not for me, actually. I'm going to color this, but I'm gonna do this in an in a upcoming Watercolor 101 video. So if you'd like to see the uh, tutorial on how I paint this with watercolor, um, I'll put the link in the description box below when that video becomes live and you can check that out. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see your guys' seahorses. So make sure to post a picture of those to my Facebook or Instagram. So I'm curious, what is your favorite under the sea kind of creature? Is it a seahorse? Is it crabs? Is it starfish, sea turtles, whales, dolphins, sharks, Nemo's, whatever, let me know. So I guess, I th I'm pretty sure my favorite um, under the sea creature um, would have to be a leafy sea dragon. I love leafy sea dragons. Um, if you don't know what a leafy sea dragon is, Google it or make sure to hit that subscribe button because in the future I'm going to be having a tutorial on how to draw a leafy sea dragon because they are amazing. Um, yeah, I also love sea turtles and I love lots of things under the ocean. That's why I live next to the ocean, because I love the ocean. It's the best. Hmm. Alright guys, I will see you later and until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.